What have we learned that could change the business model? So one thing we've learned is this. So this was in The Economist magazine last month. The Economist magazine is like uh, the, uh, the Bible of capitalism, right? This is not a, a left-wing uh, publication. So this whole report was on the value of building a middle class. Because what they found, you know you hear this story sometimes that you know, capital, it's capitalism that creates freedom. So you know, the Chinese capitalists, that's good because it'll eventually end up being creating freedom. But it hasn't happened so far. Russia became very capitalistic because they had all this energy. And that's plant Dalmatian too. So then people are saying, gosh, I guess you can still have sort of totalitarian capitalism. That's really weird. What is it that produces freedom? It's not capitalism unless capitalism is employed to build a middle class. Because in this research done by The Economist, what they found is that when there's a vibrant middle class, and a middle class person is someone who's a third of their income, they can spend discretionarily on discretionary things. Okay? No matter what their income is, so you can be middle class in India at $4,000 a year. Because it doesn't take more than $3,000 to buy the necessities. This is what they found. That in societies where there is a large middle class, you have what's called whole person jobs, meaning jobs that involve the mind and not just the body. Useful technology, environmental protection, optimism and hope, cultural integration, meaning that people from many races and backgrounds can work together. You also find all the Bill of Rights kinds of Freedoms, tolerance, religious freedom, free speech, free press, equality under the law. That's built in societies that have big middle classes. 